Hey everyone, Dylan aka Die Hard Alien here, and I'm sorry I haven't done any videos in a while. I finished school and I was lazy, and I just finished summer camp like two days ago. But ever since I heard these news, I wanted to do a video about it because it really interested me. And I want to get my opinion about this and the ideas to make this idea even better or something. And if you couldn't tell by the picture that you're seeing here while I'm talking, I'm sure you'll know it. But if you don't, I'll tell you right now. Fox, 20th Century Fox will be a theme park in Malaysia. I, I, sure I got that right. Although people are going to complain I didn't get that right now. But who cares. It says here there's going to be a theme park in Malaysia. And it will be overtaking one that already exists. Which is the Genting Outdoor Theme Park. I'm reading this in an article by the way by Cinema Blend. And here the, there are, it's going to have a over 25 rides and the the movies that are going to be turned to rides are Alien, Life of Pi, Ice Age, Rio, and Night the Museum or at least as of now and they'll they'll also be based on Fox films across all genres and there will also be an animatronic parade that will join characters from all over in one place just like the Disney World and they will use apparently a 125 million dollar budget and they will be and the park will open in 2016 although there's no specific time frame as of now in a statement Jeffrey Godsick president of Fox Consumer Products said for the first time, audiences will soon be transported into the world of their favorite 20th Century Fox properties, brought to life by our partner, by partner resource, World Genting. This theme park marks the launch of our global location-based entertainment strategy. That's what the article says. Now, what do I think about this? I love this idea. I think now the first thing I want to say is that there have been rides that, that are Fox related that have already been turned to rides in different theme parks like the Simpsons ride at Universal related parks and Avatar will be made into like some sort of land in Disney's Animal Kingdom so I'm sure they won't be turned to uh, the, the rides in the Fox theme park in Malaysia. But still, I think there's a great idea. And I think this idea, I think by making rides of these, I think it will, t if you make, if you do them well in the, an appropriate way, it will transport people into this world. And I know you people aren't a fan of some of these films, like the later Ice Age films and the Ninth Museum films. But still, those have potential to to be good rides if they do it appropriately. However, in the article, it does say that Fox tried to launch a theme park of their own once in 1999, where they tried to open a Fox Studio Battle on Australia, but it wound up flopping in the park close two years after it opened. Oh yeah, I also, oh I forgot to mention the park wall wall. Uh, the Genting Outdoor Theme Park will begin the upgrade process in September. Sorry, I forgot about that. So, it, the appropriate theme of the rides and stuff. Just to get people um, excited, I thought I would get my ideas on how these, how these, some of these rides so far, like Alien, Life of Pi, the Ice Age films. Rio and the Ninth the Museum movie will make good rides and what should be appropriate for them, my ideas and keep in mind people, I haven't seen all these films so you people might say I'm not appropriate to do this thing but this will be fun for me to spout out my ideas 
and it and it, and warning people this may include a lot of pauses and us and stuff because I'm coming this up with this I have I haven't script this I'm sorry, but some of the movies I had ideas in my head would be appropriate more. So, yeah. This w this should be cool. So, let's get right to, to my ideas. For an alien ride, I think it should be a dark ride. Uh, in the Cinema Blend article, it says that one of the ideas that would be cool if... if there was a wild roller coaster through the belly of the Nostromo, spinning teen cups in the shape of xenomorph eggs, shooting gallery full of face huggers. That would be a cool idea, except I think it should be a dark ride, although I, I it would be cool to see a roller coaster. You know, you know what? Just thinking, what if this alien ride wasn't just the first alien movie it would actually go through almost all the alien movies one two three four no from the fourth from what I've seen it looks horrible but still it would be cool to like travel and you would go in these cars there you know eggs would be fine but I, remember the people remember aliens with that plane thing in which the marines and Ripley go in to get to the planet where it drops I would rather imagine the car look like that, although I doubt it. And then, yeah, you are the design of the of the waiting launch would look like the Nostromo. And then, I just want to see Sigourney Weaver like one more time play Ripley just for some of the videos in the waiting gallery, you know, prep up and stuff and the rules. I just want to see Ripley play played by Sigourney Weaver one more time even though she's old and stuff and from the last time we've seen her she was an alien person but still it would be interesting and you know it would be like a dark ride slash roller coaster the aliens would go after you and you had to try and escape and try to discover it and more and then you've seen scenes from the movie in which you know there are animatronics of people uh, you know, people that look like Ripley and go through other movies like Aliens and more. That'd be cool. That would be incredibly, incredibly awesome. And then the Life of Pi ride. Again, pe people, I haven't seen Life of Pi, so people kill me if you want. I don't care. But... <sighs> I still have an idea on, I think I see enough of this movie, well not really, but I think I have a good idea on what the ride should be like. For the Life of Pi ride, I think it should be an indoor dark ride and a water ride. So your, so the, the vehicle will look like the rat used in Life of Pi, that Pi in the Tiger uh, Richard get into, in which people are in that, and then people are like, you know, moving around in the raft in the water, and then it would be a half water ride, half dark ride, and then the raft would move around, and then it would, and then the ride would be sort of like half animatronics and half like, you know, screens, you know, like they used in Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey with. It would be like Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, where it's half like, you know, you know, motion simulator and half animatronics. That's that's my approach to this. I think it would. I think with that one, Life of Pi ride, you can totally get immersed in the world. I mean, you can feel isolated. You know, I I just in Life of Pi where you get stranded in the ocean with nothing, absolutely nothing, and then something unexpected happens. I think by doing a half water ride slash dark ride would make you feel more isolated. And it would be all, and it would be scary, you don't know what's gonna happen. So, that's my idea for the Life of Pi ride. That's, that's, so, I hope they do that with the ride. I hope people watch this and take my ideas for the 
lots of pie rides to make it better. Although that's what I think anyway. And then the Ice Age rides. Um, this one's gonna be a hard one. I haven't seen the fourth Ice Age film yet, although I don't want to because the premise sounds stupid as heck. But I think like the Alien ride it should be a sort of like a tour through all the films and. You ride on like an iceberg mobile. I know that's stupid, but I think that would be a more appropriate approach. And it would be like a dark ride. And then the inside of the waiting gallery or something, it would be more like it would look like you're part of the ice. It would feel cold, sort of. And then some of the stuff from the first Ice Age. And remember. People remember in the first Ice Age film where Diego, Mandy, and Sin, the baby, are like in this, are trapped in this huge ice place, and it's full of like all these other creatures frozen inside, like the di like a dinosaur and a piranha and more. That that I think that should be in like part of the waiting gallery. You just look at you know the scene, the piranha and stuff from the first movie. <laughs> That's the idea for the Wayne Gallery for now. And like I said, should be an ice mobile that you ride on, four seater. And then you get tr and then you t take a tour through all four of the Ice Age movies. And and that's mostly it for the Ice Age thing. It'll, I think it would be more appropriate like a Disney ride like Peter Pan, like the Peter Pan ride and the Winnie the Pooh ride where it's mostly just look going through scenes of the movie except they're with animatronics and you're an ice mo bird mobile so i have nothing to say about the ice age right really except the ideas he just said so yeah that's all i have for the ice age rides ride so yeah hope they do that idea it seems more of an appropriate idea and then, Rio. I haven't seen this movie, of course, but I think I have a good idea of the ride. I think it'll be the same thing as the Ice Age ride, except you get to ride on like these giant birds, different types of birds. It would be mostly a tooth steer. And I think it would be cool if the whole idea of the ride was that you're just traveling through like um, Rio de Janeiro and it's like half motion simulator screen like again Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey and you just feel like you're flying and stuff sort of like I think it sh this should be more of a Soren ride where except it's with Rio and that you're flying on a, on different types of birds and you feel like you're flying in Rio de Janeiro, and then there's bumps and more when danger comes. You know, sort of like in the real movie, from the little I have seen of it so far. So, that's my idea for the Rio ride. Hope people consider this as a good idea or something, and if not, that's fine. But that's just what I think the Rio ride should be. And finally, the Night at the Museum ride. Now, people, sit. Say whatever you will about Sean Levy and Ben Stiller, mostly because of the Night at the Museum movies. And I think this would be good as a ride. People just forget about the movies and imagine if you considered Night at the Museum a ride, I think it would be pretty good. If it has to do with an appropriate theme, like I said, which I'll explain right now. So the Night at the Museum ride should be more of like, it should be more of like a museum. I think Robin will, in, in a video where in, your, in the waiting gallery to get yourself set up in the rules, Robin Williams should return to playing Teddy Roosevelt, who Robin Williams played Teddy Roosevelt in the two Night at the Museum movies. So he's telling you the whole exposition about the Night at the Museum films and then what your goal your goal is and then the rules on what you should shouldn't do in the vehicle and what you should do before getting in 
and then you it's a, it should be more of a dark ride where it actually feels like they're taking a tour of a, of a museum and this movie sh and the ride should be more of like the first two where you're taking a tour of the of the Smithsonian and the Museum of Natural History in which the two films take place and it should be more of a dark ride like I said where it's mostly a tour of the first two movies and that's really all about it for that that those are the ideas I have for the ninth museum ride I know you people are saying that you're not really saying much for the ideas of the rides as of now but from the ideas that I said this this should ha these ideas that I said should happen to make it a good to make these really good maybe even fantastic rides that kids families and maybe and adults teenagers can enjoy just have a good time and yeah that that's all I have to say about the new Fox Malaysia theme park if you like this these ideas that's fine if you disagree with them that's fine but don't troll what what do you guys think of my ideas do you like them do you not if you don't then what are your ideas for these rights what do you think the theme of the rights what do you think should be appropriate for these rights what's your ideas comment below in the diehard comp box like it just like me are you ha are you excited for these movies I've mentioned being turned to rides yeah now people are gonna complain that this isn't a good video because I didn't explain a lot of ideas and that they're very brief but these are just er these are just what I have in my mind for now although my although my ideas might change from now and have more ideas as time goes on but and maybe maybe Fox will take my video into consideration and actually do the ideas I've said for the rights I've said so yeah, comment below in the Die Hard comp box, like or dislike me, you want to see more videos from me, kick my bum there, it's up on the video, my channel to get agonized until you die hard. And, like I said, I'm excited for the new Malaysia Fox theme park, even though it's not in the United States. Um... <sighs>